Hello and welcome. My initial plan was to do a breakdown for the animated clip you just watched, but while I was writing the script and recording the footage, I realized there is no way of doing a concise and easy to follow tutorial with two scenes consisting of probably over a hundred layer tracks. So what I'm doing instead is giving you a brief overview of how I pulled this together, breaking the scene down into sections. And at the end of the video, you will have several options to choose from and decide for which section you would like to see a tutorial first. Let's get right into it. People familiar with this channel might remember this clip from an earlier video. My idea was to add a shot at the beginning to make it look like the viewer or camera is positioned in an airship, flying through the clouds as well. So the very first thing I do whenever I have a new idea is a very rough sketch of what I have in mind and take this sketch into Dreams to test it out. This is called making an animatic. An animatic is the precursor to the final animation and is a key part of the planning process. In an animatic, you can play with the timing and overall composition without putting too much time and effort into your assets and later having to scrap them. It's only after I am happy with the result of my animatic that I start spending endless hours of time adding all the details. My general rule with detailing is always starting with the big details, ending with the small. After finishing the shot, I wanted to add another one with the camera sitting inside a transportation box in the airship's cargo area. So same process. Rough animatic to work out the general look and timing, then adding all the details. While I am detailing, I iterate a lot and jump back and forth between painting assets in classic Procreate and testing the animation part in Procreate Dreams. There is nothing worse than painting something for hours and having to redo it because the animation part isn't working out. To better visualize the general process, let's take a look at the scene zoomed out a little with everything off screen visible. The airship in the foreground is scaled, warped, and distorted in several ways to get that fake 3D look, while also being rotated to create sense of motion as if following a curved path to the right. The lights and shadows are animated with masks and keyframe animation to match the general motion of the scene. The same is done for all the other details, like the ropes, lamps, and flags. Hear the scene once more, but with the foreground hidden. As you can see, in the background is just one single cloud texture, duplicated, rotated, and scaled. The recycled cloud textures are all moved to the left to emphasize the airship's movement to the right. The towers are also used to enhance the feeling of forward motion and taking a turn to the right. For the shot inside the box, I rendered my previous shots into a movie and imported them into a new scene. Once again, I used different techniques to create a fake 3D feeling with parallax motion and add the details on the water tank and the creatures inside the tank. And now it's your turn to let me know in the comments on which technique you would like to see an in-depth tutorial first. Option A. I want to learn how to animate the squid-like creatures in the water tank. Option B. I want to learn about the advanced fake 3D techniques used for the box, the airship, and the towers. Option C, I want to learn how to do the animated light effects. Option D, I want to learn how to do all the little props and details like the ropes, flags, and water filters. Option E, all of the above ASAP. In case you are interested in one or more of these options, just write option X or Y in the comments, and I will do an in-depth tutorial, starting with the option that gets the most votes. If you like, check out my other tutorials and animated clips. I hope this was interesting and helpful, and thank you for watching.